Hi there, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hi, my name's Jane Laurie, um, I'm an artist and I work under the street art name Mutiny. Fantastic Jane, and could you tell us a little bit about what you're doing today here in Sheffield? Yes, I'm working at Bank Street Arts, um, a little gallery in Sheffield, I'm exhibiting some of my work here and I'm also um, painting a mural in their courtyard, they've uh, very nicely given me their space on their wall to paint. Okay, excellent. And I've, I've had a chance to have a look at the mural in progress mm -hmm. and the animals you've chosen to paint in, in the uh, mural are really specific, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I've um, I started doing a new, a new idea which I'm test, sort of testing out here today, um, which is writing a big word with block letters and then filling each of the letters with an animal, beginning with that letter. So I've chosen the word love, L-O-V-E, big letters. Um, and I've got, for the L, I've got lapets vulture. Um, o is an oscillated lizard, V is the Visayan spotted deer, and E is an eastern gorilla. And all of these animals I've chosen because they're all endangered. Um, and some you may not have heard of, and some you probably have, but I like to sort of, you know, always choose animals which are either endangered, threatened, or vulnerable. Okay, great stuff. And why is it that you choose to paint these animals outdoors on the streets? Um... Well, the street art thing for me is fairly recent. It's only been about a year and a half where I've actually been painting, you know, street art and murals. But I do it because I really enjoy the aspect of allowing everybody to be able to see the artwork. It's something that's very much the pub for the public. It takes art away from the gallery context and allows anyone walking past to be able to see it. Um, and I, I actually love that. I love that about it because it gives everybody access to art. Okay, and would you describe your work as political then? Uh, yeah, definitely, just because I, I have the endangered aspect on all of my work and uh, of course the extinction crisis that animals and the planet are going through right now is really critical and so I want to try and raise awareness um, through my artwork towards this crisis and you know, getting people to learn about animals and to, to find out what's happening in the natural world is really important to me. And so, yes, I'd say it's very political because I'm trying to engage people through this um, to, you know, just be a bit more wised up on, on the crisis. Fantastic. Thank you.